show me this. And finally, I get down to, Tristan, have you seen this nonsense my brother's been putting on the internet? Do, do you, uh, clap if you all know what I'm talking about. No, clap like you mean it. You know things? Mm -hmm. You know things? I know things. Mm -hmm. I'm all on the internet. Well, honey, Tristan plugged both my phones, and then I was like, bye. I didn't even need Tristan. Uh, Tommy, let me tell you something right now. All you are is my brother. You better stop talking the way you're talking, because now it's dripping into my comment page. See, I wasn't searching for Tommy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right. I was simply looking about how people felt about last week's shows or the dresses or the guests we had on. We do, we do a nice production here. Mm -hmm. I'm minding my own wendyshow.com business. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm seeing a lot of comments about your brother doesn't like you or you better watch your back because your brother's on, on one. Or, Wendy, I can't believe you're this kind of person or that he's pegging me to be a person that I am not. Honey, you don't want me to start pegging you to be the person that you are. With full-blown receipts, I can fill the audience with receipts. With the leftovers all the way around the block. Norman, do you understand what I'm talking about? I understand about? what you're talking about. You understand what I'm talking Do you understand oh, what I'm talking about? I understand what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. You are my brother. Let's keep it that way. Right. If you want to talk on the internet, then you talk about the things that you think you know about yourself. You don't want to talk about the things that I know about you. For sure. By the way, do you like my dress, Tommy? Yeah. He would like a dress like this. Excuse me, crew in the back. <laughs> That's enough, of, enough about that. My mother's watching. Mommy, you know I know better. But you read the, oh, never mind. She's busy with um, Mr. Abernathy, who was Dr. King's very good friend. They're, ha they're having a big celebration now, and of course you know, Shirley is somewhere in the room uh -huh. taking notes. <laughs> Suzanne, I'm gonna get off of it, but I was on one last night. Oh, all right. <laughs> Lots to get through today. But first, and this will be my last time addressing yesterday, uh, because I talked to my dad. And my dad said, Wendy, I'm not mad at you. You did the right thing. I said, Dad, but there's more to the story, and you know it, and you know it. So here it is. Count me down, because I don't want to spend more than a minute and a half on this. Seriously. Um, Tommy, you know I was at mommy's service. And you know she looked beautiful in her casket. And you know that you fist fought a loving member of our family, half your age, who was supposed to be somebody, a blood relative, everyone, not my son. My son is in the back, shocked that he's at his grandmother's funeral, studying for midterm. And I'm going between a closed service, saying hello to people, and also my son wanted me to quiz him so that he gets an A. It's weird how kids are, but he's 20, and it was, it was something. You started a fight over an open casket right there with my mother. Thank God we were at a civilized funeral home. And the men of the funeral home blocked so mommy wouldn't fall out and there'd be a catastrophe. You should know better at 53. And for all of you all who wonder why I said on that day, I appreciate
appreciated my ex-husband more than I could ever appreciate my brother? It's because my ex-husband was invited to be there. I went to my father. My mother and I had talked about this a while, like a, while, a, a, a long time ago. You know, when you're 86 years old, it doesn't just happen. You know, it's a slow process. And for me, I'm the daughter or, or family member or whoever who would talk to my mom about anything. And I would ask her, you know, how do you want to look? My mother was wearing a beautiful cheetah print dress that my father got for dirt cheap at Neiman Marcus. And it was her barometer dress. It still had the tag on it. That was a minute and 30 seconds. Okay. Anyway, and she had on the right lipstick, she, a particular pink she wanted to wear. She looked gorgeous. They gave her her tan because all she did was want to bake in the sun. She was a sun girl. And you fought with our family member. And my ex-husband came back to my son and I. And he said, I know it's not my place. By the way, he smelled really good and was Dior up and down. That was that, no, we're not getting back together. Follow what I'm saying to you. My son and I are sitting here studying. I'm trying to ignore what's going on over there, looking to make sure that my father is okay. My sister was kind of handling everything. And I just, I, I, I was removed. And Big Kev said, um, I need to break this up. This is not right. Your mother wouldn't, this is not right. And I said, Kevin, what do you think to my son? He said, mommy, everybody's here is old. So nobody is getting up to fight. And so I said, all right, Kevin, you do this, but please don't throw fists and stuff because you will be the one blamed. And me and your son will go to court and defend you all the way to the end. Because we see, do you understand the difference between he will always be my ex-husband, but in the name of what was right, and we gave a low key, whoa, Hunter, all three of our hands like this, and he walked up to the front and separated my brother and this young family member who was very confused being a young man and moved it all out there to the lobby. Still heard the screaming. The funeral home turned up the music a little bit. Daddy was fine. We went on with the rest of the day. Before going back to my sister's for um, the collard greens and the good food that you do after a service, I said to my son, I said, you know, your dad is really something else. I don't want to mislead you or guide you into thinking that we're getting, he said, mom, I know, I know. I said, you want to just the three of us go out and grab something to eat and also bring stuff over to Aunt Wanda's? Do you, do you want to just like change the mood and celebrate family and find it in our hearts to kind of not forgive, but move on in the name of the service? and Papa, and the rest of us. And my son said, yeah. And that's why we went out to eat afterward, the three of us. He had the double R, you know, he, he, he's that guy. He had the double R, I sat in the back seat so, so I can take off my wrap dress. I had on a, a, a wrap dress. I tell you, a black wrap dress takes you everywhere. I took off my wrap dress, put on my leggings, put on a hoodie you know, changed my clothes. We're listening to Mob Deep and all of our music, the three of us, you know, and we go to a, a random place that had food that all three of us like to eat. And then he dropped us off in the double R at my sister's house and felt as though, I'm just gonna, you know, go on. You all have a nice, you know, rest of the day and give me a call if you need something. And that is all I'm going to say about that situation. Norman, do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. I feel like I understand. Do you understand an open casket? Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. That sounds terrible. Do you understand a 53-year-old man? Uh-huh. And a boy who's supposed to be looking up to him? Right. And how he's trying to peg me? And, and people are saying, oh, she wants to get back together with Big Kev. No, I don't. He was the man that day. Mm -hmm. Right. 
He was so the man that his sunglasses stayed balanced on top of his bald head. <laughs> sunglasses never fell off. He asked me if I was okay. I told him, I need a moment. I don't want to cry in front of my son. I don't want to break down because now it was started to open up to like the AKAs. You know, my mom saw Ross and people started coming in and they were in their feathers and we didn't want to let them know what had just happened. And I asked my ex-husband, because he said, are you okay? And I said, if you can, can you please walk with me to the bathroom and just stand outside? And if anybody has to use the bathroom, let them in, but just talk loud to them, like, you know, you look nice in those shoes, just so that I know to, you know, gather. And I went in the bathroom and tried to call Bernie, my manager. He's like the uncle that I wish, and I begged Bernie to come with me to the funeral, but he didn't want to come. He said, Wendy, you got to walk alone on this one. He's like that little brother that I wish that my father had had or something like that. Like, I just needed to, you know, and, and I told Kev, I was like, I'm going in the bathroom. I don't have to go to the bathroom, but I have to, um, and that's all. How many minutes did I take? <laughs> Seven minutes and 15 seconds? All right, I guess there'll be no Ask Wendy. Uh, Perla, make it work, please. Please. Okay, and so now Ben Affleck and his...